वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिस इज सैम आई प्लेइंग स्टारफील्ड सो वी आर स्टिल ऑन द परसिवल मिशन पहले तो स्पेस सूट लेके बहुत चुती आप हुआ फिर स्पेस सूट मिला परसिवल का मिशन कंप्लीट होते होते रह गया भाई Ask me if you need anything. I'm here to help. Yo, this dude came in once trying to sell this whack-looking fish or something. It was still alive. He had it in this big plastic bag full of water and everything. Good size too. I was trying to tell him I didn't know if we took him things like that, but then my boss came over and told me we absolutely did. Man, what a pain in the ass that was. You, yo, stay good out there. What's the matter? Can't even hear you. Was there something else? Hmm. I'm never one to turn away an opportunity. But I'd be curious what you think you've uncovered in the Martian market that others have missed. Aqueous hematite, iron and wastewater. Well, I'm not surprised no one has proposed something like this before. And exactly what does this new drug of yours do? Hmm. An interesting proposal if your data pans out. But where is this hematite coming from? The active mines would be too expensive to retool. The deep mines could be an option, but they're full of spaces. Or so I've heard. Is... is that so? Well now, that is intriguing. A completely untapped resource pool. And the sort of utility every mining firm in Sidonia would be clamoring to get their hands on. We could contract out all the actual lab work. Bring on one of the hungrier mining concerns for materials. The licensing fees alone. And think what it would do for our image with the general populace. This mine reopened thanks to the Martian Trade Authority. Very interesting indeed. And what do you want for the rights to this drug? Dr. Walker's dead. That's it. Consider it wiped. Well, it seems we have a deal then. And here, a finder's fee from the authority. A perfectly reasonable amount for a discovery with this sort of potential. Wouldn't want you feeling shortchanged down the road. We'll just be taking that slate before you have any second thoughts. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Captain. Okay. Done with the formalities with this guy. Let's go talk to the guy. And finally, we'll be done with Percival's mission. Yeah. Did 
at you now. Fine work. My end of the bargain, then, I suppose. He's holed up in the old Red Devil's HQ. The place was sealed up tight after the UC shuttered our unit. But we snuck him in the back entrance through the deep mines. I was also going to warn you about spaces down there. But it sounds like you might have already tossed those dregs. Yeah, the Parsky. I'll let him know there's someone he owes one hell of a thank you on their way down. change your uh, helmet settings so that uh, you go out in regions like this you always get your helmet on automatically you don't have to put it on after you come out of the, those chambers
and now I can fast travel. Hey, you dropped it. Wait, you meant to do that? or far locations or first one from anywhere to anywhere it will be easier sala andar aata to bahar ka dikhata hai bahar aata to andar ka dikhata hai kya hai ye I don't know. 
I doubt you came all this way just to do me a favor. Now you want to explain to me why you're going around harassing the various old men by wiping away their hard-earned debts? Adrian sent you. She's... Did, did she look okay? to not touch anything. Got some projects in the works down here. I wasn't expecting guests. Oh, the loot mentioned how you took care of it. Can't say I'm thrilled with the least you got to also create it maybe I got a bitch by a man. sample. You're not lying to me? Because if you told me this was a hoax, and it'd be the best damn fake I've ever seen, I'd be mad and very, very relieved. Can't just humor an old man, huh? This sample, it's got all the indicators of the worst terramorph attack in human history. I presume you heard of Londinia. It was a city wiped completely off the map by terramorphs. The swarms are so bad, they had to blow the spaceport and seal the place off from the galaxy at large. Not a lot of samples made it off the world from the time of the attack. But the ones that did, well, they look just like this one. I didn't detect any of the telltale signatures this specimen ever sat on a ship while it was alive, either. I don't think it was transported to Dalzetti. This specimen... It grew there, faster than any Terramorph should. Which means, if we're about to start a new era in human Terramorph relations, where big, sudden Londinian-style attacks can happen outside Londinian, it's not gonna end well for humanity. That is the definition of an existential threat, dear Lord. So, you lug this bad omen all the way here. You wanna tell me what your plans are for it now? Because until now, the Terramors that wiped out Londinian had the good sense to stay put. What happened there? It was a tragedy, but at least it was contained. So to find evidence for a similar attack on a different world, well, 
We don't have enough information to know precisely what this means, but I doubt it's good. So I'd love to know what it is you're planning from here. The circle, huh? Could use a drink about now. Here, faster we take the lift to the servants. Not supposed to use it, but given the circumstances, I'm inclined to just ask forgiveness. Let's get going. Carrying too much. क्या एक दो चीज उठा एक सौ चवालीस हो गया एम के भूलिया का तो भूलियों का भी मास नहीं होता है मैंने शायद एक ड्रेस उठाया था Stat. It's 
yourself anymore, Major. Our friend here showed me your sample. Suffice it to say. Not here. Let's talk somewhere more private. Lou said we could use the back. version of what went down. Yeah, I can't thank you enough for taking care of all that. Makes two of us. I hope it ultimately didn't end up being too much trouble. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just glad you both came through it intact. So, were you two able to get that work up together? Got it right here. That sample, it's an exact match for the ones from Londinian. Londinian? That's, that's exactly what I was afraid of. Not thrilled to be the bearer of that kind of news, that's for damn sure. So tell me you've got some kind of plan for that workup. Well, right now, we've got more questions than answers. So I've been trying to figure out what it's going to take to access our old Terramorph data. Good place to start. What'd you find? It's in the archives. The Armistice Archives? Doesn't that mean we'd be dealing with the cabinet? And the Freestar Collective? And House Varun somehow? Guess we can kiss that approach goodbye. I didn't think the cabinet would be willing to hear us out either. But I called in some favors. They've agreed to hear us out on two conditions. One, they want to see this analysis you two have procured. And two, they want to discuss what happened on Tau Ceti, with both of us. Well, when the colony war came to a close 19 years ago, with the signing of the Armistice, three factions were involved in the negotiations. The UC, Freestar, and House Varun. They made a lot of decisions about what sort of tactics should and shouldn't be permitted in future conflicts. All information related to the things they decided should be... banned... was locked away in the archives. Now, it's possible to get things out of there, but only with the agreement of members from all three factions. And as to what our research is doing in there... Well... I'll get to that. That's about the best news I've had all day. But before you commit, I want to make sure you know the whole story. Percival and I, 
We're not just researchers. We were military scientists, ran a division of the UC together that deployed aliens on the battlefield as weapons. Place I was hiding out. That was our unit's home base. After some early fits and starts at other facilities, the place eventually became the heart of UC Xeno warfare. A practice that's been banned ever since the armistice went into effect almost 20 years ago. And the UC military cut us loose for what we've done. No. We were both dismissed after the war for what we did. These days we're just concerned citizens with a very particular area of expertise. Our damage has been done for a long time. Oh, well, that, um, that means a lot. It's not something I'm exactly proud of. But it was during that assignment that the UC asked us to explore deploying terramorphs on the battlefield. The project never got off the ground, but the data our team gathered is now sitting in the archives, along with all the other information banned after the colony war. Under the watchful eye of monitors from all the galactic factions still participating in regular politics. But if we can convince the cabinet to help us access that data, it'll give us the tools we need to decipher what exactly this sample might mean. And hopefully, how to prevent more attacks like the one that spawned it. All right. I'm gonna go get this work up into the cabinet's hands. I'll meet you out front of Mast in New Atlantis. Good luck. You two are gonna need it. All right. Let's get that in the cabinet's hands. They said they'll call for us once they've gotten to properly review it. But listen, I know I should have been more forthcoming about who I was earlier. So, in the interest of full disclosure, there's one more thing you ought to know before we head up there. My relationship with the UC. It's more complicated than it might seem at first glance. The UC's actually the only reason I'm here in the first place. I am a clone of a man named Francois Sanon, one time fleet admiral of the UC during the colony war, former head of the UC Navy. They called him Ve Victus, woe to the defeated in old earth Latin, a title he earned. The program I was a part of, it was the UC's attempt to create a new generation of military minds from one of their most respected tacticians. Secure the leadership of the UC military for generations to come.
I'm the last. A few of my siblings, they passed when we were young. Training accidents and the like. But most of the rest were deployed to the front lines during the colony war. And they never came back. Not a day goes by where I don't think about what the world would look like with them still in it. He would have happily told you he was one of the greats. Ultimately, though, it didn't matter. The man I was cloned from, my father, was executed for acts he committed during the war. The man caused a lot of death on both sides. Free Star Collective, and you see, military, and civilians. And the things he did, well, they're a part of the reason the UC and Free Star Collective aren't really on great terms to this day. So my involvement, it could be another obstacle they throw at us up there. I just wanted you to be forewarned. I, I really appreciate you saying that. I just thought you deserved to know, considering how much you've done already. You know, while we've got a second, was there anything else we needed to discuss? I know you got dropped into the middle of this pretty fast. Or, if you've got any last-minute business to attend to, now might be a good time. No telling how long the cabinet's gonna keep us waiting out here. It's hard to know exactly what might sway them. I'd just be honest about what you saw. A colony wiped out and a lot of lives lost. Something we don't want anyone else to have to experience. That's actually a souvenir from my time on Mars. The Red Devils unit I was a part of, they were founded by recruits who worked some of Mars' deepest mines. Folks used to adversity. The dust at those depths, it seeps into everything. The human eye included. Where the name Red Devils came from in the first place. It so became an unwritten realized. rite of passage that anyone wanting to enlist with the Devils had to do a stint in the mines before they could join up. The Devils were always talked about in such revered tones during my training, so as soon as I was old enough, I signed up, and the eyes were my parting gift. So, uh, if you guys have seen Dune, or Dune, D-U-N-E, you know there's a thing there, spice, that makes some of them's eyes blue, so here, I think that concept has been taken from here. There, that movie, this concept of the sand getting into the eye or dust getting into the eye, making those eyes red. I mean, we never spent a lot of time together. He was too busy being Fleet Admiral to deal with kids. I was raised by a pair of guardians instead. Until his defeat during the Colony War, though, he was known as an extremely effective commander. Savvy. Perceptive. That mind opened a lot of doors for him. And for me, too. But Bay Victus, for all his ability, was heartless. Ruthless to a fault. In the end, that's what cost him his life. I strain from the amount of reading I've got on the horizon if we succeed. The Terramorph project never went anywhere. It couldn't. They are deadly creatures, but they aren't xenoweapons. The cabinet not opening the archives is probably a bigger risk than them handing over the files. That data itself isn't dangerous. Which probably wouldn't be a bad point for us to bring up, should the opportunity arise. Then I guess it's just a matter of... So if Is that you that you? close your conversation early, I think it will just take you 
to headquarters or this place where I'm going now. There's a crow there, get him boys! Interstellar something that flow's name is let me show you as again. Interstellar affairs cabinet chambers. You have our thanks for the risks you faced in securing this information. Oh, I'm sure she did. Yes, well, precisely how urgent is what I hope we'll determine here today. So now, we have two petitioners here making a surprising request. Access to the UC Xeno Warfare team's terrible data, currently housed in the Armistice Archives. A request which will require not just this body's agreement, but that of all three armistice signatories. You see, Freestar Collective and House Varun. Now, Captain, we've all read Hadrian's report on the subject, but we have yet to hear from you. Perhaps you could summarize for the Cabinet what it is you see as the goal of this endeavor. That's quite the leap, Captain. Madam President, I object to the very premise of this meeting. While no one would argue that what happened on Tau said it was anything less than a tragedy, terror morph attacks are not some sudden new threat on the horizon. They've been happening for generations. To demand we hand over banned archival knowledge and possibly upset the balance of galactic diplomacy because of a single attack seems at best panic. And at worst, a power grab by the daughter of a bloodthirsty warmonger and her associates. I would remind the chief diplomat who he's speaking to. If it's my father you're looking to address, you're welcome to consult a medium. I would also ask, how many deaths the cabinet requires to act? Fifty? Fifty thousand? Because if tragedies like Tau Ceti are just prelude to more attacks, I have no doubt you'll get the body count you require. Let's keep this civil, shall we? And while there should be no doubt, the preservation of life stands paramount among this body's duties. Chief Essene has a point. Will a single attack, however troubling, be sufficient to convince the other factions to grant us access to what they no doubt consider weapon data? I don't think it's enough. Perhaps you can help, Captain. As the one who actually collected the sample in question, did this terramorph seem at all alarming to you? That is worth considering. This attack took place on an almost completely uninhabited world. The casualties were minimal as a result. But if there's another attack, Will we be so lucky? Hmm. Yes, a fine point, Admiral. So then, Captain, given the discussion now and the information you've been privy to thus far, if you were in our position, would you grant the request made to open the archives? What do I tell? The first option is also valid, the second option is also valid. So what do you guys think? What will be more inclined to my specific task? Listen, 
Compose your thoughts. You let us know when you're ready. If the stakes weren't so high, we wouldn't be asking. But, well, we're asking. I'm inclined to agree. As am I. Uh, I suppose that does get to the heart of the point, doesn't it? Very well. I consent. The galaxy was lucky you were here today, Captain. You and I are in agreement, Chief Diplomat. So, if there are no other objections, I believe we can agree to give our full backing to make the request to... What was that? Incident. Chief Sarkin, what's happening? There's been an attack at the space pool. Terror morphs. Terror morphs? More attacks. Just as predicted. Good God. Can you hear me? Uh, hold it. We need to move. There, there must be another explanation. The creatures evaded our scanner somehow. There will be plenty of time for conjecture. Later. Chief Sarkin, order the evacuation of the spaceport and have your men contain the things, but do it discreetly. The last thing we need is a citywide panic. Yes, ma'am. Admiral Logan, the local barracks can provide support? I'll make the order myself. The Aristanta is Eno Squad, though, is off the world. It's going to take a while to bring them in. Well then, we'll have to make do with the tools we've got. You two. We can't risk those things getting out of the spaceport. I want you both on the next train there. We'll let them know you're coming, and that you've dealt with these things before. Now go show them how it's done. We're on it, ma'am. Captain? Um, I attacked them that... I don't know if I have... This one has good damage. situation thank 
God, you got here when you did. I... I just wish it hadn't come to that. Yet what the hell happened back there, Captain? There's no excuse for using lethal force here. Or you could have used the EM gun like you were ordered. These are lives you're playing with here. So get your head in the game. Understand? Now, officer, the way those people were acting, I've seen this before. They were under the Terramorph's influence, weren't they? I... I don't know. Oh, so they were down at the Ian port Ryan? and they just started But I think I screaming. killed one guy. That's we why tried to restrain them, furiously. get them on the train to get them out of harm's way, but... That's my name and some of the other officers name down there. Was... We couldn't restrain them fast enough. They just started firing on us. People we knew. They went berserk. Thermonic projection. Some terramorphs, they can induce this fog. It affects everyone differently, but some people just lose control, turn against everyone around them, even if they don't want to. They're like a puppet. You kill the morph, you break the hold. But this means we're going to need to be real careful with our fire and keep that EM weapon at the ready. I honestly was just wondering the same thing. But no, you don't need to worry about me. I've had a Terramorph try it for me before. I'm not susceptible. So we'll just have to make sure to watch out for each other down there. Let's do it. Now it's unlocked. Please, do what you can to help them. Backup. You say the word. 
Shepard. We're out there on your six. Do you two have any experience with Terramorphs before? Only the brief they just gave on the way here. But we know how to handle pressure. Surviving a full-on mental assault isn't the same as keeping your cool in a firefight. Might make you more liability than asset. We're not UC security. You don't need to worry about us. We're not afraid, but we'll stay here and hold the line if that's what you want. You're the experts. Your call. We're on the line. the chatter to a minimum.
know what Jacob would think of a crow helping to save the Damn, Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more and don't forget to subscribe. We'll be back with more exciting videos and we'll start from here and we'll start with talking with Sergeant Yumi. So have a good day guys. See you soon. Take care.